Britain's education system is facing a crisis that's as serious as it can possibly get, an Islamist threat of intimidation and bullying. It's creeping into our schools faster than gossip in a local pub. Just the other day, we saw on social media a child essentially bullied into converting to Islam right in the middle of school. I bear witness, bear witness, that there is no God, that there is no God, but Allah, but Allah. And I bear witness, and I bear witness, that Muhammad, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, is his servant, is his servant, and final messenger, and master of Allah, welcome to you. Not at the That incident sounds like a one-off, right? Well, think again. Enter the scene, the Khan review. And no, don't worry, it's not that Khan, but Dame Sarah Khan. And she shed light on the darkness within her report on our shaky social cohesion and democratic resilience. And the spotlight was on the Batley Grammar School, where a teacher, now living like he's in witness protection programmes, once dared show a cartoon of Prophet Muhammad in a lesson about free speech. Cue an uproar that would have you believe medieval witch trials were back in fashion. The poor bloke, all for sparking a bit of critical thinking among Britain's kids, ends up with a target on his back. His personal details are smeared all over social media like a dodgy meme. Talk about getting thrown under the bus as well. His own school left him hanging, they suspended him. And he's now been dealing with PTSD. This is three years on from this incident with a sodding cartoon taking place. This is probably a man that is checking his locks three times before bed, fearing that there's an Islamist mob outside of his home. And the cavalry that you would expect to be there, utterly non-existent. The police, the council, the school trust. It was like they all took a decision to wash the hands of this naughty teacher. Months later, when he was cleared of any wrongdoing, surprise, surprise, it was too little too late. The damage was utterly done. His life totally upended, all because he touched on a topic that's apparently more untouchable than a do not enter sign at Buckingham Sodding Palace. The lack of backbone from our leaders on this issue was utterly staggering. It remains utterly staggering. I even took a swing at the West Yorkshire mayor on Twitter, asking her how she stood up for the Batley teacher. She said that she would always stand up for her West Yorkshire constituents. Where was she for him? Her response to me was to block me faster than you can say free speech. It's as if the very idea of standing up to this kind of bullying is more terrifying to our politicians than a ghost in the Tower of London. We've got to cut to the chase. If we don't start standing firm against the encroachment of Islamism in our schools, we're not just failing our kids or our teachers. We're opening the door to a future where the next Batley Grammar incident ends not with a teacher in Haydn, as bad as I admit that absolutely is, and it shames our nation, but perhaps a tragedy reminiscent of Samuel Paty in France. He was beheaded outside of Paris. So I say, Britain, it's high time to wake up. This isn't about being the right side of a debate or political correctness. It's about protecting the very foundations of our society that people fought and died to protect. I don't think we should have prayer in schools for different faiths. I don't think we should have face coverings for different faiths. I don't think we should have exceptions for different faiths. And absolutely, we shouldn't allow bullying and intimidation in the name of religion or blasphemy to take place in our schools. If we do not draw a line right now, right this minute, then we're not just risking another new cycle of outrage from people like me. We're risking the very principles that we're supposed to hold dear.